wow absolutely wow <laughs> hi guys retro Django back with another video this time it's the Commodore 128 it has been long long time on my channel two years I think <laughs> uh, I don't know why I lost my passion for Commodore 64, Commodore 128. Don't play games on them. All of a sudden, it just disappeared. February 2018, I wanted to, to replay some of Amiga games. Later in 2018, it just exploded and Commodore 64 and oh, it was all over the place. But now I am in love with the Amiga, but 64, 128, I don't use it. But this one, I have to document this one because this one is just a beauty, guys. It's just a beauty. The board, it looks like the day it left Commodore Factory. Oh my goodness. It looks original, so nice. I haven't even cleaned it, no nothing. One thing that I have done that I always do I use contact cleaners, so I sprayed contact cleaner on the connectors, uh, on the uh, connectors here, on the, uh, you know, for the cartridge, power, uh, joysticks, but also the power on and off. It's important that you give it a lot of contact cleaner there and just power on and off 15 times. If your Commodore 64 or Commodore 128 has been on storage for many, many, many years, just like this one. This one has got really low usage. The guy I got it from back in 2018, I um, mean, he had the craziest collection. And he had, he said this one, he had it from new, low, low used. He got this in, what did he say, man? I think he said 87. And that year he jumped also got an Amiga, don't remember which version. If we look at the chips here, I have just removed the cooling from one chip and that's the SID chip because this one comes with two different SID chip. The original, the old one, the 6581, which is the greatest one that was in the Commodore 64, they uh, made some of these boards with that and then they used the newer chip, what's called 80, what's 8580 or something like that. I don't remember now, but that one has got a bit more metallic sound. Many people don't like the new one um, and prefer this one. And this one has got the, you know, 6581. And we are going to reassemble everything. I just opened it, looked at the underside, if there were, you know, some burn connectors or bad soldering job, but this one looks so nice. I can't believe how well this one is preserved. It's incredible. What you actually can do, guys, you can remove these old um, cooling paste here and give some new stuff. It's not that hot, but Maybe when I play games, it will be harder. Uh, this one runs as a Commodore 64. It has got three processors. It can, you know, Z80 and yeah, it's fully compatible with Commodore 64 mode and Commodore 128 mode. I mean, Commodore really put a lot of love and effort in, 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 in this computer, but it just, it came out too late when this, I think it, this came out maybe in 85. And in, in late 85, they also released the Amiga 1000 and, you know, that came with 256 RAM and with an expansion at, at front, it could have 512 kilobytes of RAM, easy, and new operating system and, you know, three and a half uh, inch floppy drive, faster reading speed. Don't know the price difference, of course, back then, but the, the Amiga was a bit more expensive, of course, but I don't know. I, I I think these are beautiful, but they're, they're they have not sold as many as the Commodore 64. wasn't 
as popular as the Commodore 64. Most people has got nostalgic love for the 64 and, and, and not this one, but you can run everything 64 here, guys. This is, this is a beautiful computer. So let's get the rest of the parts and assemble everything and start a game and enjoy that new SID chip because an uh, old SID chip because I, I just love it guys so let's just give it a go this, this is just this is incredible some people uh, retro brights uh, their Commodore 64s Amigas and stuff like that put on a lot of chemicals but that makes the plastic much more brittle this is still, still a robbery and it is how it should be again a perfectly preserved one here um, as you can see this one this one is not retro brighted this is I mean this is as original as it gets man and let's look at the number here serial number 184559 made in made in Germany and I must say this one I mean guys a computer from you know 85 or when it's on. I mean it's it's just an incredible condition man I think this looks pretty original some people again does uh, do the retro writing yeah I don't if I had to retro it, I just put it out in the Sun um, but this one I don't know it looks real nice so let's put on the stuff after you put on some you know after you clean the chips and put on new cooling paste on another good idea is actually to uh, when this top cover is off you can actually bend these metal parts just you know two three millimeters down so you make sure that they give a pressure when you put it on here so they have full contact to all the chips because this top RF shield is also used as a, you know, heat uh, dispenser or what you want to call it. It's a, you know, passive cooling. So yeah, make sure to cool them down. I have seen this with this top cover fully rusted and corroded. This is the first time I actually see them in this shiny condition. It's it, it, it's just it's amazing man from 1985 it's the condition is just yeah it's an incredible man it's incredible let's put on the top now all right I assembled the Commodore 128 I mean just a visual inspection nothing is clean no nothing this is just how it is and yeah it can be better but with this I got this uh, beautiful beautiful 1571 drive with the user guide also in pristine condition i mean this man it's nice we got some more stuff 128 system guide yeah <laughs> also Kommer der 128 systemvejledning. En Danish. Fremstilling af et lydprogram med sound. Nu er det tid til at skrive deres første lydprogram. Her er et eksempel på soundkommandoen. 10 volt 5, 20 volt 1, and so on and so on. <laughs> So yeah, we got this in Danish also, which is beautiful, guys. Let's just go ahead and um, give it some power now. Oh, <laughs> there we go. And the joystick. So. Uh, oh, nice. Nice. So let's just go ahead and insert this Commodore 64 Legendary Games. I'm not sure if it works on the um, Commodore 128, but I have reviewed that cartridge. Uh, 
Yeah, it works. Uh, commando. Eight. Eight. Oh, yeah. Um, keyboards on these, you have to, uh, yeah, open everything and clean and stuff like that. When, when they have been in storage for so many years, you have to clean them. Need some cleanup. <laughs> I mean, they work, but you can see five that doesn't work. But if I press it hard, yeah, keyboard needs cleaning, that's for sure. It works, but you know, 35 year olds, years of dust and crust. Let's just go ahead and play Commando. Commando! There we go. <laughs> nice. And the condition. I don't know if the camera can pick it up, but it's a really, really beautiful. Oh, yes! And we're playing with the arcade stick. Love this game. Yeah, love the music actually more than the game. <laughs> uh, I remember my friends were all into uh, Commando, and I was all into another game that reminded of this that was called Who Dares Wins. And we were always talking about which game was the best. And I played Who Dares Wins one and two, and my friends were crazy about this. Also, uh, Rainbow Two. Also a great, great game. What do you think, guys? Isn't it just beautiful? The 1571. Wow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, guys. I want to say thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this Commodore 128 video. My beautiful Commodore 128. It's in really nice condition, except the, let me see how number six reacts. Six is this bubble ball. I'm gonna press now, now. Oh man, bummer. <laughs> well, other than that, it's a beautiful, beautiful computer. So thank you for watching guys. I hope you enjoyed it. And let's just end this video with some music from Bubble Bubble, if it works. Yeah, nice. Oh, yes. Thank you for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed this one. I mean, us in this hobby, we love these old 35 year old computers when they are in beautiful condition like this. I wish you all a great day out there. And again, I want to send my special thanks to my subscribers and supporters on Patreon. Have a nice day out there. Bye.